Hi guys, what's going on? And oh, welcome to a, another video on Total War Arena. Didn't didn't think I was going to be saying that anytime soon. Now, before you get too excited, this is just old footage, um, and I haven't actually saved enough of my footage to have any any that didn't have my face on it, which is why I've now got a nice green background because I'm having to cover myself up on the bottom of the screen. Um, but there has been some developments in the Total War Arena world um, in terms of it being ported over to China. So I kind of wanted to just cover this. Talk about what it means, is it good for us, bad for us, and what it could mean for the future. So, just to expand on this, Creative Assembly have basically signed an agreement with a Chinese company called NetEase, in which they um, uh, NetEase are going to be responsible for publishing all, basically, Creative Assembly games over in China, and up to and including Total War Three Kingdoms. Now, this seems to be a bit of a trend in recent years where... Almost companies, developers seem to always publish worldwide with the exception of China. And then China has its own companies that publishes. And Chinese game developers seem to only publish in China and then just um, and just hand out the publishing rights to a different companies that deal with the worldwide sales. I don't quite know why this is. I don't know if it's a legalistic problem um, that, 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 to do with, obviously, China or not. But it seems to be the way. And anyway, it's what seems to be happening with Creative Assembly. And obviously, I'm guessing the main aim is that Three Kingdoms. That's really what they want to be getting at. But a side note of this is the fact that NetEase is also going to be rebooting Total War Arena for the Chinese market. Um, now, it's not really mentioned very clearly in the actual news article on the Creative Assembly um, about this. But um, Josh, one of the old Creative Assembly um, uh, people who used to work on the Total War Arena team, actually announced this on the, total, on the old Total War Arena Discord that some of the old Creative Assembly Total War Arena team members are now getting back together and working to help port this game over for the Chinese market, which is certainly very good for us because that, that means that even though we're not directly yet going to be able to play it, it's certainly suggesting that there's at least some thought or NetEase at least believes that there's going to be demand for this game in China. It's certainly very interesting. So, yeah, so for now... Are we going to be able to play the game? No, not really. Not unless you're going to go significantly out of your way, play it in Chinese, and get access to the Chinese servers. So it's not going to be very easy to do. Obviously, I, I, we don't know if this is going to then end up giving any new lease of life in the rest of the world. The current official stance is, no, it's not. It's not going to make a difference. It's not changing the way it works, which is obviously unfortunate. But... You know, I guess it's worth considering that with these changes, um, there's now going to be effectively a, an alternative development team. You know, the Chinese are not just going to be porting over the, the last build we have and have nothing else to do with it. They're going for it. They're going to be making efforts um, to try and make it better and continue to development and continue to update the builds. So one of the biggest problems that, um, you know, Total War Arena had was its massive development costs, which is not being offset by the player numbers. So now that there's obviously this income coming in, from um, both the Chinese publishers and the fact that there's going to be development going on on the game, you know, irrespective of whether it's got the rest of the world being playing it or not, may suggest that we may be able to see it sort of ported over to this country as well, hopefully. I mean, we can but hope. Um, if not, I may try and see if I can get into the Chinese servers and have a quick go anyway, just, just, for, just for old times' sake. And that's pretty much all we've got to report. As I say, some of the old dev team are back working on it. Um, that's we know that. It's going to only be in China for the moment. There's no plans for it to be ported for the rest of the world at the moment. But then, you know, at the time there was no plans. I didn't even think it was going to get this far, in all honesty. So I'm kind of surprised that they're at least porting it over to, to China. They're obviously going to be making some changes for it to be um, ported over reasonably. I don't know what those changes are going to be. I don't know what the final Chinese version is going to look like or when and if it's going to actually become available to play in China. So that's certainly something I'm going to be keeping an eye out on, and obviously I'll be having further update videos if and when it does. So, yeah, I hadn't really expected it. It all came as a bit of a bit of a random shock, really, because um, I'm still a part of the original official Total War Arena discard, Discord, even though obviously the game has long since died, and I was a bit surprised when I saw that there was a, a, a ping on that Discord and then looked to see some of the changes that have been going on, so it was kind of, certainly kind of interesting. So, yeah, we're just going to have to keep an eye on this situation, see how it develops, really, and kind of fingers crossed that something exciting comes from it, because I know I'd love to see Total War Arena return to our screens, and I'm sure there's probably, well, at least I hope there's a few a few of you out there who would also be uh, pretty excited to see this change. So, so yeah, so uh, keep basically watch this space. 
I'll be sure to update you with anything else that happens. And that's really all I've got for you. So, yeah, I'm going to sign off for now on my Total War Arena revisit. But we shall certainly be keeping you abreast of any changes in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. That was a terrible play there, getting shot in the back by javelins. <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Um, hopefully you're as excited about this as I am, and I shall see you all, hopefully, on a future arena update over the next couple of months.